Luminar Neo or Lightroom? This is a question I get asked all the time and I cannot answer which one is better for you. But what I can do, I will take you to both programs and we will see what would you miss if you choose one versus the other. By the end of this video, hopefully you will have a clear vision of which one is the right one for you. I know which one is right for me, but for you might be different. I am going to open my computer here and start a screen recording. So we can go through both of these programs and talk a little bit about it. Well, first, before I start that, um, let's talk about the price. Lightroom is part of the Adobe program and it's a subscription plan. You cannot just buy it. So it's $9.99 per month that you have to pay every month. And uh, Luminar Neo, it's $79, I believe. And you purchase it one time and that's it. You get free updates and you have it for life. Um, I know a lot of people complain that it does, it's missing some tools and it's not a complete program yet. I am here to tell you they are working on it and by the end of the summer, by the fall, they will add so many more tools and make it a lot cooler than it is right now with a lot more features. But let's start the screen recording and go through both of them. So the price, we talked about it, one versus the other. Which one is easier to learn? Well, they're both slider based programs. So really you can master each one of them in about two hours. It's nothing really, it's not like Photoshop. Photoshop takes years. I've been using it for five, six years and I'm still learning. But Lightroom and um, Luminar Neo, very, very easy to learn. And if you don't know how to learn Luminar Neo, go into my playlist of Luminar Neo. I have over 40 vi video tutorials that explains every tool and lots of examples and you can learn over there. Let's see, I am here on Lightroom. And one thing that you will miss if you go with Luminar Neo. If you, let's say, decide to go with Luminar Neo, you will be missing, if I go here into Photo, Photo Merge, you will see in, Lumin, in um, Lightroom, I can create HDR and panoramas. Luminar Neo cannot do that. So you'll be missing on these features. On to Lightroom, just like Luminar Neo on the left side, you see I have my um, albums, my catalogs, that's where we can store our files and organize them and keep them neat and tidy. And I can tell you the Lightroom catalog is way better than the Luminar Neo. So I think Lightroom will win on that. We'll move into develop. This is where we have our tools for editing and we have crop tool, we have the um, clone and healing brush, and we have the red eye remover. Nobody uses that anymore now with digital. And then we have our masking. Masking, I can honestly tell you, it's probably the best mas masking in any kind of program I've ever used. And Luminar Neo masking, not so great. Lightroom, really, really complex masking you can do. You can select the subject, can like select the sky invert the sky and select the foreground. You can do color range masking. You can do luminosity masking. There's just an infinite way. You can intersect mask, copy, paste, uh, subtract, add. Everything you can think of doing with masks, you pretty much do it into Lightroom, not so much in Neo. So I do really love and use a lot my masks. So if you go with Neo, you will be missing on the great masking. Then you have your just normal contrast, highlights, whites, blacks, whatever. You have those in news too. You will not miss any of this. Then you have your curves. You do have that in Neo. You have color grading. You can do that in Neo with no problem. Sharpening you can do in Neo. Pretty much every other tool that is here, you can pretty much do it in Neo. So if you go with the Luminar Neo versus Lightroom, you will be missing, the, basic, big, the biggest thing you will be missing is really the masking and then creating HD, HDR and panoramas. Now let's go to Neo and see what would you miss if you go with Lightroom. Well, you have the catalogs, like I said, they are not as great as Lightroom. And then when you go to edits, oh, I forgot to show you Lightroom also has, uh, when you're going to develop into the left side, you have presets. I have tons of tons of presets and what I do like about Lightroom, I can just scroll through them. And uh, right now, none of these things are, you know, open. I don't have a lot of them in here. I have them on my desktop, 
but you can just scroll through them and see a preview really, really easily. On my desktop, I have like thousands of presets, even though I don't use them so much, but sometimes I do. So let's go back into Neo and right out of bat, when you go into Neo, the one thing you will miss in, um, miss from Lightroom, if you, have, if you use Lightroom, is layers. Layers are such an essential tool into editing. And with layers, you will get blending modes and that you do not have on to Lightroom. And I wish you did, and, but you don't. So if you use Lightroom, you pretty much need Photoshop or a different program to use layers and blending modes. So that's the one thing you will miss right out the bat by choosing Lightroom. You are not having layers and blending modes. Then if we go through the tools, Develop has all the tools that Lightroom has as well. You have Enhance. If you are a seasoned photographer, then you can pretty much replicate this Enhance tool into Lightroom. It takes a few sliders to get to the same result, but you can do it. If you are a new photographer and not so experienced with editing, then Enhance is a great, great tool. With just one slider, you can you know, bring so much detail and really transform your image. But don't really need it. You can do that in Lightroom too. You have Erase for removing uh, dust spots and power lines. Now this tool, Lightroom has the clone and the healing brush, so you can erase little things, but this one will erase power lines or dust spots, which is a great, great tool. And you will be missing that if you go with Lightroom. Structure, you can pretty much do that in Lightroom by using clarity and, you know, other sliders. Color, you have all of those into Lightroom, black and white. You have even more control of doing black and whites into Lightroom than you have in Neo. Details, you can do that. Denoise, you can do it. Landscapes, another few AI sliders here, like the golden hour and foliage enhancer. You don't need it. You can do that using other sliders and Lightroom, but if you're a beginner photographer, these two sliders it will enhance your photos beautifully. I use golden hour all the time. Vignette, you can do that in Lightroom as well. Relight, I know was a big buzz about this Relight tool. It kind of works, but you can do way better job in Lightroom by using masking and really masking the parts you wanna brighten or darken and you have more control over it. So I don't, I'm not a fan of Relight, never really use it, honestly. Sky AI, this is another big important tool that you would be missing if you go with Lightroom, because in Lightroom you can mask the sky, but you cannot replace it. So having a tool like Sky AI, it is crucial if you are doing um, landscape or architecture photography. If you, do, if you are in Lightroom, then you have to go to Photoshop or another editing program to completely re replace sky. Atmosphere. There's a few cool things over here. You can pretty much do the same thing in Lightroom by using uh, like selective masking and do a negative dehaze. That's the one thing I wish Neo would have. The dehaze, they have dehaze, but you can only go to positive to remove that haze. In Lightroom, you can go negative and actually add like fog, you know, atmosphere. And I use that a lot in Lightroom. Let's move on. What else do we have? Sun rays. This is a cool one. It kind of goes there with the sky replacement, adding some sun rays. Sometimes it's fun to do that. I do that once in a while. Dramatic. Moods, it's another one. You can add lots in Lightroom. You cannot add lots, but you can have presets and camera profiles. So it just kind of ends up in the same bulk, I say. Let's see what else we have. Toning, you can do that in Lightroom. Matte, you can make images matte in Lightroom, no problem. Mystical, you can kind of do that in Lightroom. There's, you know, I do like the mystical tool. It just makes everything more painterly, but you can do that in Lightroom with other sliders. Glow, film grain, you can do that. Portrait bokeh, that's just blur in the background. You can do that with Lightroom because he has a great masking. So you can just select your subject and blur the background. Face AI and body AI. These are two things that you would be missing in Lightroom because 
And uh, face and body AI, you can actually skin, make somebody's uh, face and body skinnier or larger, which in Lightroom you cannot do that. Honestly, I don't miss that. I never change somebody's shape. And I just think they are who they are. And, you know, unless they ask you to change it, then I'll do it with Liquify and Photoshop. But normally, I don't like to do that. So I don't feel like that is a big loss. Color harmony, super contrast, all of that stuff, you can do it in Lightroom. Presets, we already talked about it. You can do presets in Lightroom. So really, let's summarize this. If you go with Luminar Neo, you would be missing into creating HDRs and panoramas, and you will be missing into the awesome, awesome masking that Lightroom has. And um, it has a better catalog uh, organization system. If you do choose to go with Lightroom, you'll be missing on layers and blending mode, which in my opinion, they are essentials to editing. And then you will be missing into the sky replacements and, you know, a couple of other AI tools that are not so important, but sky replacements, layers and blending modes. I know a lot of you guys are thinking that Luminar Neo is missing a lot of tools. And last time I spoke with the guys at um, Skylum, they did talk about how they want Luminar Neo to be the strongest uh, program that they have, and they will add a lot of features and tools, but that will take time and they will do it in the new re software releases over the next few months. You really cannot go wrong with either one of these programs. You just have to see what kind of photos are you taking. If you do mostly um, portraits, then you'll probably like Lightroom because you can do so much better masking and you have more control over it. If you're just kind of do of everything thing and you're new to photography and now want to invest a lot of money into a program and have a monthly payment, then Luminar Neo pretty much does everything you need to do. You can replace skies, you have layers, you have all the sliders you need and you just have to get out there and create photos. The program, it's, they're really both great. I have them both. I mostly use Lightroom just because I've been using it for years together with Photoshop, but Neo, it's a great, great program and I do recommend it if you wanna purchase it. I have a link in the description below. Um, that's it for now. I'll keep continuing to make um, tutorials about Luminar Neo. So if you wanna learn this program, you will have all the tools so you can quickly get up to speed and be able to edit your photos the way you want them. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyla Ewing. I will see you in my next video.